Hey y'all, it's Cherokee Starfish. Welcome, or welcome back to some more Pokemon Crystal and our ongoing challenge run, where we are only allowed to use Pokemon that do not have any evolutions. And that's been a problem so far. You know, kind of off and on. It's been a lot more challenging of a challenge run than I thought that it would be. And one of the things that we're facing is because I'm only playing for a couple of hours a week, um, the clock is not really keeping up. And there are certain Pokemon that we need that are time sensitive. So we're going to have to deal with that today. Thankfully, there is a legit in-game way that you can, in fact, reset your clock. So we need to be on the title screen, which is why we're here. I'm going to hold select and press down and B at the same time. And then while still holding select, I'm going to release down and B and hit left and up and then release select. Kind of like this. There we go. So yes, we want to reset the clock. Now, uh, this is the complicated part. So the game wants a password in order to reset the clock. What is that password? How do you get it, you might ask. And that is a legitimate question. And the answer is, I don't know. I used an online tool to figure mine out because uh, it is some kind of mathematical function based on your character name, uh, your trainer ID number, and the amount of money that you currently have, which somehow comes out to this for us. So here we go. We're going to continue. Clock's time may be wrong. Please reset the time. Okay. Well, first of all, it needs to be Friday if we're going to catch a Lapras, I believe. Um, now, does Lapras appear only at a certain time? That I am not sure. If y'all know, please shout it out. Oh! Thank you so much for the resub. I appreciate that, Ori. Y'all spoil me. This is early into the stream, too. It's always, like, right at the beginning. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, so... Lapras. Um, I don't think that there is a specific time, but it also needs to be early in the morning so that we can catch a Tauros and a Miltank. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it to... Let's see. Do we need to... There we go. Just have to cycle through. Okay, so we're going to set it to 7 in the morning. And if we need to reset, we always can. So. I'm sorry, what? Oh. <laughs> I think I'm still on my fishing pole. There we go. That's better. Okay, so now we need to go. Where do we need to go? I think we need to go to Union Cave, correct? Down this way? Yes. So we are going south. It's actually not that far. Hun, you are level four. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Order of operations. Uh, so we actually need to catch a Tauros first before we can catch Lapras, because that's the only Pokemon we have access to right now that can learn Surf. And I think y'all told me that Miltank and Tauros were available in the mornings on Route 38. Is that correct? Please do correct me if I'm mistaken. So we've got to go back north and go through the Sudowoodo intersection. 
Is that the first time we've seen a hoppip? Hmm. I'm gonna be super rude, but we're like just a hair from a level. Not enough, boo. Yeah. The whole game looks so different during the daytime. I was so used to everything being like kind of purplish because night. And now suddenly everything's green because day. <laughs> 38 and 39. Thank you. Specific pixel, everyone. So I knew there was a reason I kept you around. <laughs> Love you. Okay, 38 and 39. Okay, I don't think we've been to 39 yet unless I maybe just poked my head in. Growlithe, we've not seen one of those either. Not that it matters. Because we can't catch one. This probably will level us up. Come on, yes, there we go. Excellent. Okay, and here we are in Ecrutic City. Uh, let's see, where it is? Just since it is right here, we have to literally pass it on the way. I'm gonna go ahead and heal our Pokemon. Thank you. Socialized healthcare, everyone. Okay. This should be Route 38. Yes. Okay. So, it is daytime. This is Route 38. I am assuming that right here in this little patch of grass, we're going to find a Tauros and a Mill Tank. I hope, anyway. Let's see. Well, not like this. Get out of here, Rattata. Nobody asked you to be here. I have no idea, since for those of you who may be watching for the first time, I have never played Gen 2. This is my first time. This has been a, a blind playthrough with help from chat. And thank y'all for the assistance and direction you have given. Again, of course. Uh, but I do not know, like, what the spawn percentages are, so I don't know how common or rare Miltank and Tauros are going to be. Sometimes, of course, if you have played any Pokemon game, you know that they get hyper-specific with how you can catch certain ones. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, we, we covered that last time. And I had completely forgotten. I need to check my notes. Thank you so much, Ori. So yeah, we need to get a Corsola, too, while it's daytime. Because Corsola can definitely learn Surf. I should have thought of that while I was back there standing on the, um, on the docks with the fishermen. We might have been able to get one there. But that's okay, we're already here. I'm gonna stick with what I know. We're gonna get a Tauros and a Miltank first, then we'll go get a Corsola, and then we're gonna get our Lapras. And I think, maybe, that right now those are the only Pokémon that we have access to that are legal for the run. Because we talked about Miss Drevis, which is the maybe the only ghost type we're gonna be allowed to use, uh, but that is way later in the game. And Murkrow, uh, it's gonna be... Oh, there we go! There's a Tauros. Hey, big guy. Okay. Uh, let's see, I gotta be gentle with him because he's half our level. Yeah, that's... that's good to know. But, ooh... 
but I'm also, I'm not too terribly worried about that just because persistence pays off. I mean, Dunsparce had a 1% chance of spawning and Stantler had five and we got both of them. It just took patience. So patience again. Let's, I'm going to try with a regular Pokeball and see if it works, but I, I bought some great balls. Come on. Hey, first try. We love that. Okay. All right. These violent Pokemon fight with other members of their herd in order to prove their strength. I love how it only weighs 200 pounds, even though, like... <laughs> I mean, it's a Tauros. It's literally a giant bull. Okay, what are we calling this fella? I don't know if we'll actually use Tauros or not. I actually, I don't know if Tauros is actually a good Pokemon in Gen 2. I just know that I need something that can use Surf outside of battle. Um. Hmm. Ah. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got ten letters to work with. Hmm. Hey, that fits. Minos. Oh, that's a good one. Like the Minotaur. Oh, no. <laughs> you like that better? <laughs> All right. Okay, so. Sent to Bill's PC. We'll have to go back and get him. Okay, now. We're on the hunt for his girlfriend. I will never get over the little twerking animation that the Rat had to do when they enter battle. That's funny every time, all over again. Like the first time. I don't know if they ever actually did it in any other games because I have not played, like there's several generations of Pokemon games I have not played. Um, or played all the way through. So, I don't know if they did it before this, but I know that in Scarlet and Violet, when I watched Specific Pixel play it, they had uh, this mechanic where there was sort of like an incense or a pheromone or something uh, that you could use that would attract certain types of Pokemon. So there was one for like, you know, it would make bug Pokemon appear more often, or it would make uh, flying types appear more often, or whatever. Oh, nice! Nice! We got the four hit. Lovely. That feels rare. Now, does actually, I'm going back and forth here, but I don't really know. Does Miltank also spawn on Route 38 and 39? Or is that just Tauros? Because I know last week when we were playing, y'all said that Miltank and Tauros were in the same place, but I don't remember which one it was, so Miltank could be on Route 39 and not 38. Okay. Alright, so it's just a persistence game. We just need to stick it out until she shows up. Yeah, it would be nice to have that, like, incense or whatever it is now. It wouldn't be helpful here, because Tauros and Miltank are normal type, and so are Rattata and Raticate and Pidgeotto. 
and everything else that's in this patch of tall grass, apparently. So it would change literally nothing, but... Oh, hey! She's here. Okay. Um... Okay, I'm gonna go with Horn Attack again. Okay. Let's try again with just a regular Pokeball. Ooh, okay. Miltank is far more powerful than Tauros, so we may have to use a Great Ball. <laughs> I wonder how some of your earlier Pokemon feel about it when, like, you know, maybe you have a Pokemon that you really, really like. And you've been using it, so it has gone up in levels. Um, but you caught it really early on when the only kind of ball you had access to was just a normal, you know, generic, off-the-shelf, there we go, uh, Pokeball. No frills. And then, you know, of course, as you go on later in the game, you're catching all these Pokemon that maybe you don't even care about because you're just getting them in order to fill out your Pokedex. Uh, and, you know, it's you have enough money and resources and whatever, and they are available that you're just catching everything with like Ultra Balls. You're not even using regular Pokeballs anymore. You haven't had any in your inventory for hours and hours and hours of gameplay. And so you're catching these basically these trash Pokemon that you're not even going to use in a in a fancy schmancy Ultra Ball. And then here is your loyal, like, Luxray or something that you caught in a regular Pokeball, and it's level 92, and it's looking at this friggin' iPom that you caught in an Ultra Ball that's level 5, and it's just kind of side-eyeing both of you. Oh, in order to milk a mill tank, one must have a knack for rhythmically pulling up and down on its udders. That's very specific information. Okay, well we know what we have to do here. This is this is foregone, right? It's obvious. There. Two of a kind. They go together like peanut butter and jelly. Okay. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Wonderful. Okay, so mission accomplished for now. At least step one. Stage one, part one, chapter one. First part of the plan. It's gone off without a hitch. So we have Tauros. Tauros can learn Surf. That's what's important. Now, we can't catch Quillfish until later on, apparently. But we can catch Corsola now. So we're going to go do that because we have enough normal type Pokemon already on our team. Like, we've got a Stantler with us. We've got Dunsparce. Uh, you know, we have Ipom. We have Ditto. And now we have Tauros and Miltank. So we don't need another normal type. We need something like a water type. So I think Corsola is going to be better to have on the team, even if Lapras is there, uh, versus Tauros. So, oops, um, let's see. I don't know if you can fish in Goldenrod City or not, because the radio tower is right next to the water, but I don't know if you can fish off that side. Uh, but if nothing else, then Cherry Grove City's got water. Do we have to be in a town? Because I think Azalea City has a lake. Do we have to be in an actual town to catch Corsola? Or can we catch it in the water along some of these routes? Nice. Okay, 34, 40, and 41. Okay, well, then it's to Route 34, because I don't know if we have access to 40 and 41 yet. 39 is as far as we have gone, and then all we kind of did was just, like, put our toe over the line and then turn around and come back. The big pier. Okay. 
So, well, this is 36. Okay. 35. Okay, so 34. It's south of Goldenrod. All right. Those are about equidistant, so let's go back to Goldenrod then. I don't... I'll just go around. Cherry Grove, Olivine, and Cinewood. Okay. So I was right about Cherry Grove. We have only kind of poked our nose into Olivine City and haven't even been to Cinewood. So, oh, wait a minute. Is this... No, one more. Oh, Kianwood. Okay. Right, right, right. Yeah, we can't reach there yet. Did we? Yeah, okay. I stopped at the Pokemon Center. Okay, so here we go. So this should be where we will find a Corsola. Let's do it. And like I said, we already covered Quillfish and Miss Drebus. Um, but if y'all could tell me uh, where we might find uh, Murkrow, then that would be really helpful to know where that's coming up or if it's possible right now. Rabbi. I don't have an electric type or anything, so rocks not, probably not gonna do much. Do we have anything that would be better against that? Probably not. Hmm. Okay, then we'll just use Fury Cutter. Route 7 and 16. Oh no! We missed. Let's try Fury Attack. We had good luck with that last time. Okay, so Route 7 and 16, that means that we're not going to be able to catch a Murkrow until we go back to Kanto, right? So that's going to be kind of like with, um, uh, with Ms. Drevis. That's going to be endgame content. Alright, that's a shame, but that just means we won't worry about it. No bigs. for it. Go, June, go. There's four. All right. Nice. Hey. Well done. Good job, big girl. Her physical attack's getting pretty impressive. Hello, Alan. My tangle is getting stronger, exactly as I calculated. By the way, a wild Pidgey escaped on me yesterday. Hmm. Well, bless his heart, at least he's managed to catch one Pokemon, but if Pidgeys are still escaping you, then... I don't know what to tell you, my friend. Okay, we know it's going to take a while to catch a Corsola. 10% spawn rate, so... Settle in. I'm not going to fight every Krabby because that's not why we're here. And it'll go a lot faster if I run away from them. All right. Oh, wow. There it is. Okay. Well, that didn't take nearly as long as I was worried it would. Um, 
Okay, it's level 20, so it can take a punch. So let's see how this does. Ooh, not very effective. Oh, right, because is Corsola like water and rock type? I think. Is that right? Water and rock, yes. Oh, okay, so that's good. That means that there is a reason to have it and Lapras on the team at the same time. Uh, and even Suicune, uh, possibly. Okay. I think I was pronouncing the E last week when I said it, like Suicune. Like Kitsune, you know? No, it's Suicune. Okay, so... Mm, fighting is strong against rock. This might be too much, but I'm going to go for it because its defense seems really high. Okay. Oh, good, actually. Good, that actually is probably better. Because I don't want to accidentally kill it. And of course, if you've ever played a Pokemon game... Oh, really? Wow. Okay, well... Let's do this. We have some control over this. But you know that, like, when you are trying desperately to catch, like, a rare Pokémon, especially a Legendary or something... Um, and, uh, it's in the red, it's got, like, one hit point left... Uh, then, you know, you're trying to, you're trying to get it down as low as you can, and that's when your Pokemon gets a critical hit, of course, every time. Okay, it's only in the yellow, but this is a great ball, so I'm gonna trust to its higher catch rate. Here we go. Oh, dang. Okay, let's... Yeah, I have a lure ball, but I'm actually saving it. Because I know it's not going to work on Suicune. Uh, because we're not going to fish it up. But it will work on Lapras. Our boy Lapras. Okay, good. It didn't recover this time. This should be it. It's nice to know that it comes with recover. Here we go. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Damn you. Get in the ball. There we go. Awesome. Okay. The points on its head absorb nutrients from clean water that cannot survive in polluted water. Indeed. Okay, what are we calling Corsola here? Oh, it's like a little clam. Water and rock type. Um... I don't know any coral jokes. Mariana, oh, like the trench. That's pretty good. Do I know any? Uh, it's the Great Barrier Reef. That's the only one I know by name. Hmm. I cannot think of uh, anything funnier. Something something at all? Uh... Like bikini at all? Hmm... Let's see. 
Okay, oh dang, that won't fit. I was counting spaces, but... Hmm. I'm racking my brain for like all of the nautical terms that I know that have to do with coral. Like a coral bloom, a coral bleaching... That's nothing. That's nothing. Um. Off the top of my head, I can't make anything out of its existing name, like Corsola. Yeah, I got nothing. I got nothing. Here, we'll just call it Zola for short. British. Oh! Oh, that's way better than anything that I could ever have come up with. That's... That's really good. Okay. Okay. I like that. I like that. Hashtag not sponsored. Britta it is. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Just, I don't know why I'm checking. I just came from here. And it starts at level 20 too, which is, uh, not terrible. Probably not as strong at level 20 as if we had trained it, but... That's okay. Since it was level 20, it's probably also, like, the weakest core solo we're gonna get that we can train up. Alright, now. Who do we have in here and why? Okay, so... Chonkat has got Headbutt and Strength. This is rock type and is level 25, and it's been pretty solid. Um, Vinny here has not been terrible, but we already have two normal types on the team, and it's not doing anything special. This is the only psychic type that we have, so I think we've got to keep Goat. And then Buddy, I was trying to actually deliberately build up into something. Although we may have to abandon that, I don't know. Uh, so I think it's going to be Vinny is probably going to have to go in the box. Okay, withdraw. Excellent. Okay, now, first things first. Where is it? Here we go. Surf. Excellent. Can't learn more than four moves. Oh, what does it come with? I didn't even check. Tackle, harden, bubble, and recover. I think we can probably get rid of bubble. That way it's got two different typed attack moves and it keeps its defense and recover. Because bubble's not that great. And that way it just water replacing water. So that's just a straight upgrade. Okay, so cut is the only thing that we don't currently have on someone in the party. Because June can learn it but doesn't have it. Maybe we should rectify that. Actually, yes. I think let's trade out Horn Attack for Cut. 
because we have two different um, normal attack moves, and Fury Attack is generally better than Horn Attack anyway, so Cut is going to be an upgrade for Horn Attack, so it's kind of like turning Bubble into Surf. There we go. And now we have Cut in the party and don't have to worry about it. Awesome. I think... There's... Oh, right, right, right. Forgot that the fishing rod was on there. I feel like there was something that we could get back in that dark cave, and because we didn't have Rock Smash at the time, we, um... We weren't able to do it because we couldn't get all the way down into the bottom of the of the cave. And I don't remember what it was without looking, but there was some legal Pokemon in the bottom of the dark cave. Probably gonna have to go check that now because we do have Rock Smash. Okay. Now it did not seem like Lapis or Lapras um, showed up at a particular time just on a particular day. Oh, here we go. This is the color palette I'm used to. Do I have any repels that would probably make this a little bit faster? Because these level 5 Pokemon are not worth our time. I feel like we had a couple left. Yeah, there we go. Yes, I th that sounds right. I think maybe it was Shuckle. Oh, well, I just went back around the same way. Aha! And now we can do this! Excellent, good. Oh, uh, we need to go this way. Okay, so we need to try and get a shuckle as well. I still- f I feel like Juno Vexed was like, rolls off the tongue easier, but Juno Matt is funnier. So... <laughs> yeah, for basically every Hercules story. Okay, here we go. This is Union Cave. Now this is where Lapras is at, right? Union Cave, not the Dark Cave. So I can't remember if there's water in the dark cave. It's not in that body of water. You know, I just realized what I said a minute ago. I think it's down that ladder. You suggested using the lure ball on Corsola, and I was like, no, because I'm going to save it for Lapras to make that fight easier, because we can't use it on Suikun, since we won't be fishing it up with a rod, and it's like, well... Ah, my son. I love you. Forgive me. I cannot catch you. I must leave you behind. It's like we're not going to catch Lapras either, so... Um, is this the right spot, maybe? I have no idea. Yes, let us surf. Hey, look, we've already got Lapras.
Okay, you are the last thing that needs to get in my way. Hello? What do you know? A visitor, indeed. What do you know? Prey. Hiker Leonard. Sent out Geodude. Oh man, you know what this is a perfect opportunity for? <laughs> oh. Okay, well. Thanks, I guess. Ah, uh, hmm. No, not now. Oh. I kept it in. Shit. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. In my head, I was already like, do you want to leave this Pokemon in here and fight with the same one? No, definitely not. Get out of here. Impressive power. But can you handle this? You're a feisty one. Hmm. I live down here. You can too if you'd like. There's plenty of room, you see. Well, you know... I, I guess that that's true. I was just about to say I should just put Corsola up front, or Britta, because of all the rock monsters, you know, in the rock cave, and then suddenly normal types. Come on, Geodude, I don't have beef with you. Yes, I do. Go, Chonkette! Chonkette can move boulders. Uh, do we want to go out this way? Uh, okay, I'm gonna go back in. Because I don't know what's up here, and if it's like a dead end, then I wanna just... Been a while since I last saw another person. Don't be shy. I'm like, uh, sir. S sir, please. Yeah, I just bet you did. All these, uh, all these dudes just kind of living underground, like, hmm. Wow. Yes. Okay, let's switch to Britta here. going to have to use a potion. That's all right, we have plenty. Where's my super potions? There we go. All right, surf. Oh, I just realized I used a super potion for no reason because Britta has recover. I was Boo Boo the Fool. Nice. Uh, no. I think we're good. Whew. 
Whew. Very nice. Alright. Let's see what those stats look like. That's not bad. Its defense is much higher than its attack, and that's what I expected. Special attack is pretty good. Better than physical attack. That's what I want. Most water moves are going to be special. Let's actually give Juno a break here. Goodbye. Here we go. Okay. So we have a couple different places to explore. And this is the Ruins of Alf. I don't know. Like, this is all cool, but I don't know if this is leading to Lapras. Psychic Nathan. Oh, Graferig. Oh, we need one of those. That's the other psychic Pokemon that's that is legal for this run. I've never had much use for Garaferig, but in this run, it's probably going to be pretty important. Ooh. Hmm. Uh, normally I would use Fury Cutter. But... This is gonna be a long battle if I don't do something different. Oh, well, hmm. It's fighting type, too. Well, that'll just make it normal. That'll even it out. Uh, maybe it is best just to... Especially if it's all... If all it's gonna do is that anyway. Then... Oh no! This might be it. There we go. Hey! Alright. Oh, nothing to say now, huh? So this is the ruins of Alf. This is... I want to kiss... Can I catch a Garaffa rig right here? Is that what he's for? Oh, Not to... Borb. What a good Borb. Nice. Uh, your physical defense is probably pretty low. Hmm. Yes, and I believe that Shuckle is the one that uh, we were talking about getting down in the, the basement of the Dark Cave. So now that we have Flash and Rock Smash, we can get down there. Uh, after all that. Okay. Okay, so. Is this... Can we get a Garaferig here? Is that guy like a signpost telling us, like, this is where they are? Uh... Patterns appeared on the walls. Ho-oh. Okay.
Right. Uh... We've gotten so far away from the plot. There we go, okay. So this probably goes here, yeah. Where's the other side of that? Here, right next to it. This is going to be like a beak, isn't it? Okay, no, those are mirror images of each other, so... Can I go there? couple of those, so... Oh, hey! First try. Nice. I was a little uncertain there for a minute, but... It's definitely ho -Oh. There's a strange presence here. Is there? Okay... This is going to be different unknown, I'm sure. Hey! This is a great opportunity to heal, because that is a level 5 Pokémon and it cannot do anything to us. take us up to the same place after all that after all that okay well Back out here and go back down, I guess. If we're close enough to town, I'll pop up here and use the Pokemon Center. Let's see, it's over this way. Nice. This way. Okay, well, now we need to go back south. I'm definitely going to have to invest in some more repel.
Okay. Uh, Pokemon Center. So this is... Okay, Union Cave. We're back. Okay. Nothing there. Okay, so it has to be in the next section, at least. I love how Sandshrew apparently only appears during the day, or so it seems, even though it lives underground. Can I? There we go. About to say... Did we try here? Ah, no, I did not. Hello. Who's there? Leave me and my Pokemon alone. I don't want anything to do with you and your Pokemon, bro. Marowak. Ooh. Bless your heart, your ground type. Hmm. I hate that for you. Dang! That hit hard. We hit back hard, too. Okay, ooh, man, it's gonna go first. Oh, okay. Yep. Damn it. <laughs> Marowak out of nowhere. It's alright. Well, at least we're faster. That's what I should have done in the first place. Another one. Oh my god. Okay. guys mean business. Actually giving us a fight. Feels like a gym leader. Poor Brit is just not high enough level yet. Go away! I don't want to fight you in the first place. Oh, good. <laughs> good, we can surf while unconscious. But this is also a dead end. So... Huh. If that's the case, then I don't really know what good this does down here. That's not where Lapras is, right? Actually, I need to check and see. Do I have a revive? Because if I don't, then while I'm close to the entrance, see, repel. I don't. I don't have revive one. Dang it. Okay, yeah, I've got to put some repel on. It's just getting annoying now.
Remind me I need to buy more of that too. There's the Poke Center. It's Alan! Hello. Can't catch a bell sprout either. My poor boy. My lad. Please heal my Pokemon. Okay. Well, let's put another one on. the top door, and it took me to the Garafarig guy, and to the ruins of Alf. So this time, let's go back out. Yes, she can. Let's go back out the south door. This looks like a one-way trip. Okay, this is another thing, the ruins of Alf. What's this gonna be? This is, uh, water? So that's probably Suikun. Suikun. jump down, so... Okay, if that's light, then... That's not it. Okay, let me move that out of the way. This, perhaps? Looks like that goes together. That goes together, I think. I 
think that. Goes there. Do these go together? No. Oh, I bet it's this. Yes, okay, there we go. Oh, this is a Charizard, isn't it? Okay, good. That makes that, like, way easier. Now we got it. Oh, no, this looks like an Aerodactyl. Actually. Yeah, there's always a strange presence here. just leaving again? Is the goal to maybe match all of those pictures up? In order to do a thing? Because my goal is just to catch a Lapras. Mm hmm. That was an animation. again. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back to town. Now this time all of our Pokemon are fine. It is just items that we need. So here's the Mart. Okay. You have revives? Ooh, they don't. Hmm. They don't even have repel. Useless. Totally useless. Well, never mind then. Hmm. But bruh. Okay. down here again. I want to catch a Sand Shrew so bad. He's one of my favorites. Yeah, for real. It's the only place you can get anything. this way. So this has to be in the right direction.
Okay, this is the one that said water. I think. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Water, water. Water, water, everywhere. Nor I need your hop to drink. Okay, that looks like those go together. I'm guessing this probably is here. Oh, Ammonite. Oh, okay. Well, we know this goes here-ish. That looks right. Let's see. This is going to be a middle part of the spiral shell. Right. Right, because, like, it's Almanite, but not the Almanite you're used to looking at. What is that? Like that, maybe? Hmm. I oh, know this one's not right. That looks more correct. So is this... Yes, there we go. Okay. That looks more right. Mm, don't know about that. could go together, but probably doesn't. Okay, that looks like those go more together. All the way to the left. Oh, those do look like they go together. Okay. I got gotcha. you. that those go together. I think that's pretty solid. And it feels like those go together as well. 
Right, yeah, like yellow should be on the outside. That's why I was kind of looking at this. I think that... Maybe that's it? Maybe not. Okay, around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. Okay, so that's gotta go like that. That maybe goes there. And then this goes like... That's not correct. Okay, so I think that the outside is close to right. Those two have to go together like that. Be like that. Bottom, middle two, possibly. Yeah, I think. No, not those. Maybe like this? Ooh, I can almost see it. I see it happening. There it is, going around the outside, so... Around the outside, around the outside. I think it go like this? Oh, that looks right to me. In terms of the spiral pattern, at least, like, that looks correct, so it must be the legs that I've got messed up. Oh, this middle bottom. I was doing... I was thinking this, like, these four as the middle, so these two were the bottom. Here we go, let's... There we go. So Y'all told me I just have the big dumb. Time to fall through the floor again. Thank you, thank you. Yes, we get it. There's a strange presence. Hey, we got all the way out. Uh, okay. Yeah, I can kind of, I, I see it. Because it took me a minute before I started really seeing the picture. Then once we got all the spiral pieces in the correct spot, it was like, oh, there it is. There's Almanite. That probably would have taken me ages to figure out what I was supposed to be seeing if you hadn't said it. Like, I probably would have solved the puzzle before I knew which Pokemon it was. Who's that Pokemon? Who's Pikachu? <laughs> okay. Alright, so we've solved a bunch of puzzles that didn't really seem to do anything. I'm sure that they have. But, like... Okay, let's... Is it this one? No, okay. There's nothing down here. But I do need to check just in case, because that other one was hiding below the bottom of the screen when I found that, like, ladder. I'm sure they serve some kind of useful purpose, but I could not begin to guess what. Yeah, it doesn't seem like an MSQ kind of thing. That was quick. 
Big chonky boy. Right, it's the deep lore. Okay, this is the one, I think. Uh, right, now this is where the Pokemaniac was at. Does it just unlock, like, more? Ah, okay, there was something over here. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's like it's unlocking the other unknowns that were not spawning before. That makes sense. So each time you solve one of those, like, more of the 27 or 28 varieties show up. A Kangaskhan. Ooh. I have to catch one of those later. Okay, Kangaskhan is ground type. Probably won't take it out in one hit, but. Whoa. Is Kangaskhan ground type or is it normal type? Now I don't know because that wasn't super effective. Okay. So that was my error then. Alright, it seems to only know one move. Good, then let's try this. Ooh, nice. We get a freebie. Kangaskhan's quick, too. There we go. Now we can go about our business in peace. I can't wait till we wind up doing a challenge run where Kangaskhan winds up being our main Pokémon. Because there was one on the wheel that's, um, you can only use Pokemon that are actually multiple discrete creatures, like Tandem Mouse, Execute, Kangaskhan counts. Because a Kangaskhan always has the little Joey. insult to injury by finishing it off with a tackle. Goodbye. Nice! Hey! Okay. Get out of here, Calvin. Okay, I've not been here, so... Oop. Oh, that's a trainer. Okay, let's go up before we go down. Ah! Hey! An elixir. Oh, I can't carry any more items. What? What do you mean? Like, types of items? I... Hmm, I did not realize that there was going to be a limit. I guess that makes sense for a Game Boy Color game. Uh... Hmm... Yeah, me too. Okay, well... It's fine. We'll use this. It's worth it, and that just will make this next part easier. So that was a dead end, so we have to go this way. Anything? No? Okay. There's an item. Which way should we go first? Ooh. 
Let's go here, because this is a dead end as well. Is that our rival? No. There are two kinds of people. Those who have style, and those who don't. Ah, wow, that's sounding very Pokemon X and Y of you. Is this a young Lysander? Yeah, if I have to, I guess, because all he does is he just makes, like, free Pokeballs out of them. Oh, a Charmander! Hey, little guy. I'm very sorry about what's about to happen to you. Yeah. A Bulbasaur. Ooh, then yes, actually. Let's see. I think this is a job for June. There he is. Specific Pixel, that's your boy. I apologize for what's about to happen. Ooh. Cunning. Let's wake us up, or... Is it the... Let's see, let's back up this way. Is it is the Bitterberry? No, that's for confusion. So there's not, like, a wake-up berry, but I do have this. There we go, that'll free up a slot. Might as well use it, that's what it's for. Oh, really? Haha! -ha. It's not using Vine Whip, it's not a real Bulbasaur. It's a ditto. I apologize to all the specific pixels in the chat. <laughs> Squirtle, you say? Um... We don't really have... Uh... I don't have an electric type. I don't have a grass type. So you know what? Actually, I guess... June can just do it. Fury Cutter's powered up. Let's... Take advantage of it. He had all the starters. He must have come straight here from Kanto. He's trying to learn counter. I don't think we need counter, do we? Like, that's a fighting type move, but does it do anything useful? Like, is it better than Fury Attack? because we already have Rock Smash. So... I hate to pass it up because it is a fighting type move, but... Hmm... Well, if we get rid of Fury Attack, we'll still have Cut. Right, it's better when you're slower. Okay, then you know what? Let's get rid of Fury Attack. We, we need to hyper-specialize with our Pokémon, because we only have so many. So let's take advantage of that. You've got dazzling style! How correct of you to notice. <laughs> hey! That stacks with the thing we already have, so... Okay, only one place left to go. Is there... Okay, so there's two trainers. Let's go back up to the one up the steps first.
Get out of here. Nice. Impel's effect wore off. We just fought a random battle. I'm in training. Care for a round? If you're buying. Uh oh. Oh man. Well, we all know what type Eevee is. I'm so sorry, you poor soft boy. This would be the perfect place to use counter. <laughs> okay, what do we got? Flareon. Yes. Britta, back in the fight. Okay, and she's gonna have a Jolteon and a Vaporeon too, I'm sure. I figured not, actually. Because we're only one level higher, so... Dang it. Sand attack is actually working. Whoa, okay. Come on. Whoa! Girl. Okay. Well, here. Can't miss with this. Let's get rid of that noise. It's not using any fire type moves. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't have any. There we go. Goodness sake. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Excellent. Vaporeon. Uh, once again, don't really have anything that's going to be super effective, unfortunately. This Vaporeon is probably faster, though. Let's try a counter. Wow. Still missed. Okay, well. All right. Pokemon so bad. Or a grass type. Here we go. Let's put Goat in because their special defense is really high, so. Plus, they're close to a level as well. Eh. 
And they're a fast little bugger. Wow, that did almost nothing. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not what I expected to happen. Vaporeon's special defense is also quite high. Man, okay, yeah, we're hurting for it. I'm just gonna have to put Britta back in. Just that way at least it'll even out. I don't know. Raikou and Zapdos are the only two that I can think of off the uh, top of my head. And immediately use a sand attack. Never used that until just now. Okay. Yeah, we desperately need an electric or a grass type. Wow! I'm actually gonna have to use a potion because the Vaporeon's faster. Ridiculous. Oh my god, this is ludicrous. This is like a boss fight. And it shouldn't be. Oh my god. You have to hit sometime, come on. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, I hate when just, like, some rando in the middle of a cave is, like, the hardest fight. Oh my fucking god. Okay. Fine. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this all the way. gonna make you useless against Jolteon, but... There. God. Damn. <laughs> Jesus, that should not have been nearly as hard as it was. took four fucking Pokemon. Change Pokemon. Yes, I will. Alright, Palm. Your turn. At least we have something for this. There. Fucking get some. Oh, not today. There. See, we have a solution for electric types. Oh, man. Okay, well. Bro. Oh, no, you're too good for me. 
Yes, well, have the day you deserve. Okay, oh, Britta's gonna go back in. Alright, well, that gives us a chance to do this. Of course it did. But that's fine. I just wanted to heal. Okay, you know what? That was rough. That was fucking rough. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I want to fight you. What's my situation here? <laughs> I guess it depends on what you got. Let's... Pokemon I liked were there, I'd go anywhere. That's what a real trainer does. Another cool trainer. She's gonna have a mixed team. Oh, I just only got one. Oh, it's a Poliwhirl. Hmm. Okay. Well. Uh. <laughs> uh. I guess this is what we're doing. Okay, I should have assumed it was going to have Water Gun. I don't understand why Water Gun is working so well on a Corsola. Like, I know that we're Rock and Water type, but that just means that it should be, like, normal amounts of damage instead of being super effective or not very effective. But man, everything that's used Water Gun on her so far has just been, like... Bam. There we go. Please use that. Use that every time. Fact. Oh, lord. Okay, well... Da, 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 da. I'm out of Awakenings. But I have more of these, at least. Put June in. We need to get a focus headband or something. Okay. It's already better. Oh, come on. Oh my god. God. This poly world, bro. There we go. Yes, good. Good. Get back in there. Come on. Okay. Come on, we're faster. Finish it. Yes! Good, thank god. I'd rather pet my babies than this. Well, you go do that. Hooey. Lapras, where- Ah! Oh! We found him. We found it. Aw, oh, it's so dopey. Can't have one of you. Okay. Who's going in on Lapras? It's water and ice type. Uh, so not Palm. Probably Juno, but I'm gonna have to... do something. That'll help. 
Because we're not trying to defeat Lapras. We're trying to catch it. Hello. And then they kissed. What if we kissed in the depths of Union Cave? And then immediately I didn't lead with the right Pokemon. Yeah. JK, unless... I didn't at the time, um, because Dunsparce has, like, is kind of our HM mule at the moment. But I need to check and see what Tauros and Miltank can learn, because I know Tauros can get Surf. And if they can use, like, Strength and Headbutt uh, as well, then, like, by all means... They're going to be stronger than Chonkat. Okay, that's actually fine. Haha! -ha! I prepared for this! Okay, that's fine. Actually, Growl is fine. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's see. Since June is asleep, maybe we can try and go ahead and catch it. Right, yeah, because I think we've gotten everything out of a tree that we're going to get, because we got a Heracross, and we got an Eye Palm. Damn it. Okay, I... I knew that would be the case. Come on. Okay, come on. Oh my god, I've got two Pokeballs. Come on, get in the ball. I don't want to have to load scum, but okay, well, there we go then. If I must, I must. There's only one Lapras, so we will do what we must. Oh, good. All right, let's try that again. I believe in you, Great Ball. It has much less health this time. I don't know, it says specifically, like, a uh, Pokemon that you caught with a rod, so I don't know if that means, like, you have to fish it up with a rod, or if it just means water-type Pokemon, because I know the Netball later on specifically works on water-types. We'll try it. The worst that happens is it doesn't work. Hey! All right, see, see, now look, I told y'all I was saving that lure ball for Lapras. 
I knew I I had a plan. <laughs> See, I knew that would work. First try. <laughs> okay, this gentle Pokemon loves to give people rides and provides a very comfortable way to get around. What are we calling Lapras? What is her name? Um. Whew. She was certainly a challenge to catch after all this. This has turned into a real adventure. I thought we were going back to Olivine City tonight. Apparently I was mistaken. Let's see. The Loch Ness Monster is Nessie. And there's like... Like the Chesapeake Bay Monster is Chessie, right? Hmm... Specifically for fish type. Okay, so we maybe just got lucky. Either way, that's the funniest thing that could have happened. So that's worth it. All by itself. So this is Union Cave. Cave starts with a C. That seems to be the only thing. You know, like Loch Ness, Nessie, Chesapeake Bay, Chessie. There's no S in Union Cave. But there's a C. What what about like Cassie? Carrie? Like that. Because it's the Carrie Pokemon. Carry me Carrie. Like the Dr. Hook song. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm good with that if y'all are. We can always change it later if uh, somebody has a better idea, but uh, I'm, I'm fine with that. Let's do it. Sent to Bill's PC. Okay, well, you know what? Here's another useful item that we have. fuck out of here. Oh my god. Okay. Shoo. Right here. Please heal my Pokemons. Okay. Alright, so let's see. We can get rid of Chonkette. We can give her a break. And... Let's withdraw. We're gonna put Carry in. Now. So Corsola... You're saying the stats are not very good. But it's Water and Rock. So that means it takes normal damage from water, but also it takes normal damage from electricity, right? Is rock strong against electricity? I know ground is. I can't remember if rock is or not. Um, is there anything else that makes that worth it? Rock is... takes normal damage from grass. So... Oh man, I don't want to put Goat out because it's the only Psychic Pokemon we have. And it's got a Psychic Attack. But... I think maybe... Maybe it's time for Ditto to go, actually. I hate that, but maybe it's time for, for Buddy. Yeah, because Ditto can be useful, and has been useful several times, but... Okay, let's... First of all... Let's do this... And then this... Okay... 
Okay. Okay, let's put Buddy away for a while. He'll be there if we need him. And then let's withdraw. Okay, we know that even though uh, Strip here can learn Surf, Skirt is obviously the more powerful of the two. Because she can get Defense Curl and Rollout. So, um, got, so, strength is the one that we need. Everybody can learn that one. Okay. What have you got? What's she come with? Tackle, Growl, Defense, Curl, and Stomp. Okay. Well, if she's got Stomp, she doesn't need Tackle. And Strength is a normal type attack move anyway, so let's do that. And that leaves room for Rollout. Now, can anybody learn Flash? Nobody can learn Flash in this party. Okay. That's alright. Yeah, strength is pretty solid. You know, I wonder... I don't know why I walked back to the computer. Maybe... What if we got rid of Tackle? That's probably far superior. Also, do we have any good TMs? Let's see, attract, nightmare, dig is ground type. We don't have a ground type. Oh, there's rollout. Actually, why don't we just we we know what that combo is like. This is what Miltank needs to learn. There we go. The power combo. Yeah, we need to go back to the TM store. Yeah, Surf's up there. It's, it's pretty solid. That's why I never mind putting Surf on a Pokemon, because it's one of those moves that, uh, like, you generally keep it. So... Okay. Phew! Alright. Well, we spent a lot of this stream so far struggling to uh, catch specific Pokémon, and a lot of other Pokémon have gotten in our way that we didn't care about or want. So... We got one more that we can access right now before we head back to Olivine City that I know of for sure, and that's Shuckle, and we know Shuckle is pretty solid. Yeah, Fly is another one of those where, like, it's very good. And yeah, because Brave Bird has recoil, it's like, generally I'd rather have Fly. Particularly because it offers that, like, a single turn of uh, invincibility. Or invulnerability, whatever you want to think of it. Hey. Nice. Oh, right. That reminds me, actually. So we don't have anything that makes water or ice moves stronger at the moment, but I took the Quick Claw off of... Buddy. So, Carrie can have that for now. And I need to see, what does she have? Growl, Sing, Mist, and Body Slam. Okay, well, we definitely need to put Surf on her. So... Absolutely. Yes. 
And let's get rid of Growl. Don't need that. Yeah, we've been very focused on, uh, like, just getting a team. But the Olivine City Gym is going to require, uh, we're going to have to have some levels. Buy a couple of escape ropes. Uh, that's all we really need from here, I think. How far away are we? We are close enough. I'm gonna go up here and get some great balls. Because we're at the point where we can have them, so we should have them instead of Pokeballs. Those Pokeballs are just backups. All right. Get them. We don't need to do this, but it's her first battle. Let's let her shine. Hey, look at that. Very nice. Actually, I've been bad about this this whole stream. I need to look at their stats. Okay, we got 39, 40, 42, 46, 33. Okay, that's pretty solid, I think. Speed is her worst stat, but we've got the Quick Claw on for that. Physical attack and special attack, both decent. Special defense and physical defense are good. I haven't looked at Britta's in a while. Okay. Defense is not terrible. Speed is kind of abysmal. And what does this mill tank look like, actually? Is it any good? Okay, keeping in mind it's level 13, so 29, 33, 15, 23, 32. That's... Probably not bad. I wish that its special defense was higher, but I kind of don't care about her special attack. Because if she's mostly going to be using, like, defense curl and rollout, then special attack means essentially nothing. So, physical attack could be better, but also she's level 13, so it might be better as we go along. Okay, here we go. A critique. And the Mart is over here? Somewhere? No, it's way over here to the left, or to the right. Don't know my left from my right. Here we go. This is what I want. Okay, let's buy some Great Balls, so we have plenty. Uh, we're low on these, so let's buy some of those as well. Burn heal and revives, because we needed some of those before too and did not have any. So there we go. Three for emergencies. Right, yeah, that's why I know um, in the meta, uh, Blissey was just a brick wall for a while. I had a Blissey once that... that's kind of what it did, you know. She was a tank where um, the idea was she just wore other Pokemon out. So I think she had soft boiled. Um, and then she had rest to recover. And then she had something else, some kind of defensive move, and I forget what it was. It might have been defense curl, actually. Maybe. And then I think uh, her surprise, like, ace in the hole was she had flamethrower. Not because that was necessarily good. Oh, caught a Lediba. Because, like, her special attack was kind of okay, but it was mostly, like, no one's expecting a Blissey to have Flamethrower. Including me. I, I don't think that I knew they could do that. So I was like, hell yeah! No one will see that coming. But all that to say, the reason she was on the team is because she had over a thousand hit points. And, I mean, this is Pokemon. You can't beat that. Okay. 
That's the only Pokemon I've ever seen that was able to have that much. Okay. Dark Cave. Alright. Now, this is where... Uh, let's see. We know... We actually... There we go. We can't use Flash to light things up, so... We're gonna have to just kind of feel our way around. Right, so over this way... And then over here, and then down, I think. I don't know how deep this cave is. We've never gotten further than the first floor because we didn't have Rock Smash last time we were here. I kind of remember the... the layout-ish. And I know there's like a ledge here that we've got to be careful of to not... step over or it'll jump us back across to the entrance. Here we go. The water is... Oh, the water is calm. Do you want to surf? Uh... Hmm. I... Hmm. I remember there being... a rock... This is not what I remember. Uh, I... I... I don't know where to go. It's gonna be very easy to get lost. <laughs> no, it's fine. Don't... Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um... Okay, you know what? Let's just go in a direction until we hit something. Oh! Okay. Okay, well, we can't go any further down, so there must have been just been, like, a little water. Um, let's go. Left goes back to the entrance. Oh, okay. Hey. Let's keep going right. Teddy Ursa. Teddy Ursa has an evolution. Ursaring, so. Uh. I am I'm looking at a map. That's a Krabby. Exactly. Yeah, see, we're too strong for, for Flash. Uh, I'm not here for leveling up. We're here for Shuckle. Oh, having that item on the screen like that makes it so much easier to navigate because then you can tell, like, if that shifts around, you know the map is moving under you. A Hyper Potion. Okay. Another item. Hello. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, by then hopefully we'll have someone who can use it. If nothing else, I know Stantler can learn Flash. Y'all told me that. I've never used Stantler very much, so... Ooh. Okay, there's a door. 
We got another Pokemon out of the rock. If it was a Dunsparce, I would just die. Route 46. Okay. Another 10% chance. Okay. Well, we're used to that. And we've had pretty good luck, so... Okay, um... Dragon's Den, so Route 46, 45, Dragon's Den, Blackthorn City, Ice Path. So something tells me maybe... This is not the way to go, because Shuckle is actually in the cave. Is there anything else around here? Okay, so we have to come down from that way. Well, maybe we can't go to the north. Okay, if we go that way... Okay. Alright. In Kenwood and Vermilion City, and only from Smashing Rocks. See, I thought that it was in the Dark Cave, it's just like, down below. Of course, I have no idea, like, I don't know, but... Because if Shuckle's not here, then we, were, we are wasting our time, because that's why I came. So, if that's the case... But that's also fine, in a way, because, like, I was here to get the last known legal Pokémon that's available to us, and so if it is somewhere else... Then, you know, we can we can go on and don't have to worry about it. Okay, so it should be in the Dark Cave? Okay, it's also available there. Hmm. Well... Because gold and silver, of course, are going to be a little bit different from crystal. So... Um... Well, I guess we... Hmm... We need to know for sure before we go hunting, because if it only has a 10% chance, then... Okay, but only from smashing rocks with a 10% chance. Okay. Okay, so what that means then is... We only have, like, so many chances to catch it, I guess. So we need to be rock smashing. Okay. Well, that's doable, though. Okay, that's doable. That gives us a strategy because we can come in and out right here and there's a rock we can smash. And then we can just step right back outside. Because yeah, I know they respawn, but I don't know. There's been a couple of times when it seemed like if they just were not on the screen anymore, like if you went far enough to one direction that they... Uh, 
you couldn't see them, they were no longer visible, then they would respawn. Oh, no Pokemon that time. Okay. Okay. Let's try it. Nothing. It's alright, I believe in us. Every rock we have broken has uh, has had a Pokemon in it until just now, when we had a strategy and a, and a purpose. Classic. Okay. It's all right. We've got a process. Oh, is it? Because that might be, like, if not easier, it might be faster at least. And that's up where we need to be in Olivine City, too, or Ecrutique. So if, if you are, if you're a hundred percent sure, we can go back there. Because that's also, like, it's level appropriate, so that's going to be a good place to do some level grinding as well, which, as you said, I'm going to have to do for the next gym. It's always level 15, okay. Yeah, these seem to be consistently level 15 as well, so... Come on, Shuckle, I know you're in there. I know it. 10% is not that bad, so... Right, yeah, Cerebi and Bulbapedia are my two main Pokémon resources when I have a question like that. So yeah, if, if Cerebi says it, then it's probably true, because someone has quintuple-checked it. They've done, like, tool-assisted experimentation. Nothing. Nothing. Come on, shuggle, 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 shuggle. Or well, now we're getting no Pokemon at all again. Get out of here, Geodude. It's not worth your life, bro. Yeah, now we're getting nothing out of this rock. All the Pokemon like, heard about us, word got around, they left. <gasps> He's here. Yes! 
Okay, now. Shuckle is... Is it just rock type? Before I hit it with something. Is it is it rock type or is it rock and normal? Or is it like... I always feel like it's bug and rock and I know that that's wrong. So, let's see if I can body slam, then it is bug and rock. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. Why did I think that was wrong, though? Because that seems so appropriate. Okay, um... Just do this. Okay, we got this. Hang in there, Carrie. <laughs> when he does it, it looks like a little hat. Like a World War I soldier's helmet. Carrie's not doing a lot of damage, but that's kind of exactly what I want. Because then it's much easier to control that damage. There we go. And get it down into the red. Where we want it to be. And the paralysis will also help. That's why we finally have something that causes a fucking status effect. Because Carrie here can put them to sleep and paralyze them, so... She's going to be very useful for catching future Pokémon. Plus, Lapras is just, like, just solid, so... I mean, okay, that's what I was going to do anyway. Okay, we're in the red. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. See? Okay, maybe we can do one more. Because of the withdrawal that it's done. Okay, I think that's probably it. We're right on the edge. Alright, here we go. Come on, bro, get in the ball. You know you want to be in the ball. Yes! All right. Okay, there was some uncertainty, but we did it. We got there. A mold Pokemon. The fluid secreted by its toes carves holes in rocks for nesting and can be mixed with berries to make a drink. Ew. If it eats through rock, I don't think I want to put it in my body. All right, what are we going to call Shuckle? Hmm. I have nothing clever. Uh, let's see. It's bug and rock type. Uh, Brock? <laughs> That's nothing. That's nothing. Um, let's see. Shuckle is always peeking out from those little holes and lives inside the rock. Um, like a shell. What about... Sheldon. How's that? Trying to think of anything else. He does kind of look like a Sheldon, yeah. 
All right, let's go with Sheldon then. I can't think of anything smarter or funnier. Okay. Let's loosen up with the battle like we actually mean it. Oh, bro. Not this time. <laughs> oh, not this time. Yes, good. Yes, feed the machine. <laughs> How many more of those you got, bro? Three? Eh, that's probably not enough for a level. But it's a start. A rinse and repeat. <laughs> Y'all washed up, bro. I need more water puns, hurry. Uh, here, this should tide you over. <laughs> boo. I'm gonna boo myself, boo. Mercy! I just realized I jumped down there, and there's that other ledge over there, and I don't know what's up there. I don't know if there's anything up there, actually. Hmm. Or at least anything useful. But we have accomplished all of our goals for this stream. To the best of my knowledge, which is limited, of course. Uh, we are finally in possession of every legal Pokemon that we can have at this point in the game. I think. I'm pretty sure. Phew. So that's an accomplishment. I guess we probably should go this way. Okay, Cherry Grove, good. They've got a Poke Center. So we need to head back up to Ecrutique. And we're gonna have to level grind some, I think. And uh, then it's into Olivine for the next gym. Okay, now. Shuckle is rock and bug. Is that better than pseudo widow that is just rock? Because Bug is going to, like, Rock has a lot of weaknesses, so Bug is going to make it stronger against certain stuff, right? So... Because, again, I don't want to get rid of Goat because that's our only Psychic type. That's our good normal type. And then we've got Bug and Fighting, we've got uh, Rock and Water, and we've got Water and Ice. And this is just Rock. So I'm thinking, should we switch out Palm? For Sheldon? 
And then, yeah, like we, we, God, I can't wait to get Skarmory. Okay, so let's... Really? Yeah, exactly, because Pseudowoodo is already, like, just, um, Rock-type, and we have, uh, another Rock-type Pokémon, and we're about to add another one, so here, let's get, let's get rid of these. I can always get more. They're not doing anything for us. So yeah, I, th I think that that's how it goes, is that right now Palm is, um, is redundant. So let's swap Sheldon in. Here we go. Okay, so first things first. Let's give him the hard rock. Hard stone, rather. And then I'm going to put him up here, I think. And I want to level skirt up some. Okay, so we've got Lapras at front is going to be our main for right now. Water and Ice. Then we've got Bug and Fighting. We've got Bug and Rock. We've got Normal, Psychic, and Water and Rock. That's pretty solid. And then I think what we're looking at is probably when we get Skarmory, that's when Britta is going to go. Because Water and Rock is not a bad combination, but we have Lapras, and Lapras is just a better Pokemon than Corsola. I think. So... Overall, I don't know. Feel free to share your opinions, of course, in the comments or, or wherever and tell me what you think. Because we're not too Skarmory yet, and actually, you may have told me, but I don't remember where we're going to get Skarmory. Uh, so... And I don't know how long it's going to be, but it's probably going to be a little while. Like, obviously, we're not doing it tonight. That's all right. Yeah, there are always TMs. Okay, and speaking of TMs, so uh, the next place that I'm going to go is uh, we're going to head to Goldenrod. This is correct. Yeah, there we go. I just don't know what directions are. I'm going to head back to Goldenrod and go to the department store to buy some TMs. There's a couple of other little things that we need as well. And uh, that is the place to get them. So I think we're sitting pretty. Uh, we need to level these Pokemon up, but uh, like we've got a pretty solid team. I'm not unhappy about it at all. I think that we've done great work. So I'm proud of us. And it's just going to get better from here on out. As we get further in and get more badges and stuff like that, it's it's just going to get better. So, um, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. I do want to go north, don't I? Yes. Yes, I do. We want to go this way. Yes, okay. Now I know where I am. pseudo Widow territory. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> so that's where I'm going to leave it for tonight. I'm going to head back. I'm going to hit up the store. And uh, we will pick it up next time. I'll be back next Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, which is New York and Miami time here in the U.S. with more Pokemon Crystal. And uh, we will truly delve into Olivine City then, I hope.
assuming that all goes well. And uh, very excited to maybe we'll get far enough to actually get Skarmory. And then either Britta or... Oh, Alan. Somebody's gonna go. Yes, I, I heard about your Ladybug. I'm proud of you! <laughs> Stop calling me. Where am I? Oh. See, this is what happens when I try to, like, do two things at once, like talk and breathe. Or think and breathe. <laughs> anyway, don't forget to, if you had fun, don't forget to follow and subscribe if you aren't already, whether you're watching on Twitch now or watching on YouTube in the future. You can leave a comment, like the video, hop over and join our Patreon if you're feeling spicy, and don't forget that you can follow there for free as well. You don't have to pledge, and that's where all of the news and stuff about the channel, anything that's going on there, uh, will be first before it pops up anywhere else. I will be back on Saturday with more Arcanum of Steamworks and Magic Obscura. So don't miss the continuing cases of Dr. B. Unny Esquire. And then on Monday, uh, Specific Pixel will be returning with more Baroque for y'all. So don't miss that either. That's such a weird game, but it's been a very fun playthrough. We're both enjoying it. We hope that you are too. And then the following Monday, which is going to be the 22nd, I will have more Wasteland 2 as Dynamite and the crew get back in action. And it's time to meet the Red Scorpion Militia. See what happens then. If I'm very lucky, I will see you for some or perhaps all of those. Either way, I am grateful for your time tonight. Thank you for spending it with me and playing Pokemon Crystal. This challenge run is a lot of fun. I hope that uh, y'all are having a good time. And I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, as always, a thanks for playing. Now. Am I too young for a credit card?